High in an oak tree in the county of West Sussex, in southeastern England, a pair of free-flying white storks hatched three chicks. It was May 6, 2020, a landmark moment, it had been 606 years since the previous written record of white storks breeding anywhere in Britain. Two weeks after those first chicks emerged at Nepistate, another pair of storks, in another shaggy nest of sticks in a nearby oak, hatched three more. This achievement is beyond thrilling. We dreamed of this moment, and now the storks have done it, we have British-born chicks again," says Tim McCrill, a reintroduction expert with the White Stork Project. Launched in 2016, the project aims to establish 50 breeding pairs of white storks in southern Britain by 2030. More than three feet tall, with snow-white bodies, black wings spanning seven feet, and long, red legs, white storks often nest on roofs in towns and villages across Europe, where they're much loved. As spring migrants from wintering grounds in Kenya and Uganda and as far south as South Africa, they're associated with good luck and rebirth, hence the fairy tale of white storks delivering newborn babies in slings from their beaks. The joyful bill clattering of a courting pair atop their nest, a resonant knocking made by the rapid opening and closing of their beak, with head thrown back to amplify the sound through their throat pouch, associates white stalks with marital tenderness. No one knows for certain why storks disappeared from Britain, though their appearance on the menus of medieval banquets suggests that they may simply have been targeted for food. Despite their 600-year absence, however, white storks have remained an important symbol, featuring in folklore, children's stories and illuminated manuscripts, on pub and hotel signs, and in family names and nicknames down the centuries. The White Stork Project hopes that excitement about the return of these charismatic birds will spark greater public interest in nature recovery in the UK and, perhaps, pave the way for more species reintroductions. In recent months, the newcomers at NEP indeed have been a cause for celebration, a distraction from the gloomy statistics of COVID-19 and a focus of public empathy, their actions even seeming to mirror those of humans under lockdown. At the end of March as people hunkered at home, the white storks began incubating their eggs. In mid-May with travel restrictions to nature areas in the U.K. lifted, the two sets of eggs hatched, allowing hundreds of visitors to see the chicks for themselves. In the past few days, the first set of chicks have fledged the nest, flying down to the ground to feed on grasshoppers under the watchful eye of their parents and roosting in nearby trees at night. During the coming weeks, just as airline flights begin opening up and people take to the skies once more, the adventurous young storks will fly farther afield, perhaps even following their parents and popping over to Europe for a spell. Although recent decades have been hard on white storks in Europe, they aren't endangered. Draining of wetlands, habitat for amphibians and small fish the birds eat, and pesticide-driven absences of insects that supplement their diet, combined with fatalities from collisions with power lines, have led to declines in many parts of Europe. These losses in part have been offset by reintroductions in France, Italy, Spain, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Poland, and Sweden. <laughs>